assalamu alaikum welcome back to tech and talk in this video i just demonstrate about vector tracing using illustrator and photoshop in combined video okay i think so this video will help you to change the point of view about vector tracing uh, different uh, members asked about vector tracing can be used as a uh, t-shirt design or you can uh, I, we can sell on different stock photography website but how we vector trace using both illustrator and photoshop uh, i think so this video will help you a lot about vector tracing topics so let's start let's jump to our canvas and start making okay i just turn off my camera so you can see the whole screen okay let's uh, first start about first start uh definition about vector tracing vector tracing what is vector tracing in computer graphics vector tracing is converting raster graphics into a vector graphics so in this way the number of dots in pixels is removed and you can simply scale in and scale out any image without losing any quality of the image and you can use as a print on t-shirt any boxes or product related print media okay let's see first i start using photoshop simply i create a artboard by pressing create new artboard i just use 2000 by 2000 create uh, artboard size and then the same settings remain same and color is rgb background is white and then i create a new artboard okay now i place a cat photo i already download this photo from pixels.com so you can also download any image you want to vector trace on your t-shirt on your box or any other design okay let's i simply zoom in and create little bit bigger so this will fit on my artboard size okay i hope so this let's see you okay next uh, next thing we should do is select the from the panel object selection tool uh, simply create a rectangle or square around the cat shape in this way the photoshop simply select the cat automatically using a kind of mechanism okay now i simply select uh, and click the masking tool at the right bottom add layer mask okay okay this seems some points are are not in in a good shape we, at this time we ignore it then we make a small changes related to cat design okay simply go to filter and uh, before going to go to filter first change the saturation or color of the image you can change it brightness no simply go to your keyboard and press ctrl alt and u nothing happened ctrl alt and ha okay this shows the levels we just go to saturation point where i think it's ha this is the panel go to the top sorry right bottom where you create a file, fill or adjustment layer okay click there here and then go to saturation and hue simply go to a saturation part and completely go to negative so this image in a black and white form this will help to increase the saturation part first i just delete these layers because i select the cat layer and then press the saturation and saturation goes down now i go to the filter camera raw i just uh, you i just you increase the uh, contrast and texture and clarity this way the image makes more okay first i select the image oh, okay select the image then i go to camera raw filter okay simple simply 
go to the image and then increase the saturation sorry contrast increase the texture effect so when you are converting it this will help a lot and the clarity of the cat you can increase the contrast more explorer may be a little smaller okay i think so this will better to oh and okay. now this looks better now go to filter again and go to filter gallery okay in this gallery you can go to sketch simply go to sketch first i just simply change the ratio of display i just again select 333 by 33 this will show better image okay now go to stem before doing this you should convert this into a smart shape select the uh, <coughs> select the mask layer layer mask thumbnail and right click on it and go to convert to smart object in this way your cat is cut out so this filter is easily apply on cat okay now go to the image again and zoom out uh, around about 25 now you can see the cat go to stem uh, inside the sketch option you can choose a stamp option and now increase little more in this way the cat shows better in vector trace okay i think so this uh, suit well the setting of this option depends upon your object you can change according to your desired object i think so this uh, looks better mm, i think so this look better and then click hit okay okay now create a stroke around the cat so you can see the whole cat because the <coughs> foots of cat is not shown completely so again go to the panel and go to add layer style and blending option first you must select the cat layer so you can change it now go to the stroke option and make a stroke of four pixel i think so better option four pixel i think the six is the better option and color change into a normal size and the position is in the inner now you can see the cat is completely visible you can increase the stroke size by clicking the stroke on layer panel and you can increase the stroke at 8 i think so 8 is the better option when we convert this stroke into a vector form this will help a lot okay now now we can you uh, you should do control and a for whole selection and hit control c for copy now i go to illustrator make a new artboard 3000 by 3000 is the better option now i simply control c to paste the my selection again the selection is not selected again go to this control c control c and control v okay not selecting my image why okay ah Mm hmm control c first deselect control c and then control v okay why this is not you can drag and drop as well from photoshop to illustrator see the vector cat is now available now first select the 
cat from the layer panel and go to the image tracing you can uh, choose the option from the top menu where you can find the you can find the layer panel as well ah, there is the image tracing you can like the image tracing now hit the trace option and illustrator is uh, automatically convert the image into a vector form i think so this will shows a better way now this most simple and tricky part for the last of the video is first ignore the white part so the cat is only in black color okay now uh, less the noise and increase the paths in this way the cat structure is more visible and more clear to print on any object and also increase the corners of the cat shape again uh, <clears throat> i in a little increase the threshold you can change the threshold and pass according to your needs uh, you can change and see the output of the illustrator according to your presentable form so i think this uh, will help a lot okay now simply i expand this now you can drag cat and remove the white color from the layer panel go and you can select the white area and simply delete the white area around the cat you can see you can also delete the white area from the layer panel simply select the white area and delete in this way the white area is almost deleted another way when you are expanding the uh, your object you must select the option called ignore white i just simply uh, simply control z to again check my actor test option okay again 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 okay now i go to the option okay yes there is an option at the bottom of the menu called ignore white you can select the ignore white and then it's more a bit a little bit so illustrator will automatically remove the white area okay now threshold i decrease the threshold so the face of the cat is visible more visible okay now i select the part again the decrease the threshold of a cat i think so this seems more better then i simply expand the option now i move the cat object you can see the cat is totally in one color in black color you can place any color at the background of the cat and use it at any where you can you want just like uh, you can use it on your t-shirt design your uh, product design your any clothing brand or even you can use on your website design also you can use in our brochure design for different purposes i simply make a two ellipse and place under the object and change the color of these to kind of yellow
okay now you can see in the eyes of the cat you can change according to your needs and this is the vector file you can use download the vector file you can create eps file ai file also and you also create svg files using illustrator i think i hope and i think this video will help a lot about vector tracing you can use this design at any website any brand any t-shirt design okay next in the next video we just discuss another topic and another issue that we are going to resolve okay allah phase